A pleasure to meet y'all at last. And here we have some more Nerf Secrets Revealed Distance Gauge Part 2. And more importantly, let's just get down to the fact that the Dark Tag 2005 edition has been around for almost 20 solid years. Just to know the fact that this blaster is almost already that old, it really says something. The Dark Tag Eliminator, which originally came with its own set, is basically none other than the precursor to the Reflex or the Auger or other such blasters that had this nice little slide on top, as well as this. And so, I really do feel like that this ex exact thing is meant to be the precursor to the Reflex, but let's just not forget one important thing. We're going to focus on the downrange for today's test. So if we get ourselves focused on here and you basically look all the way down, it's supposed to go at 100 feet. I can't really imagine though if this blaster is supposed to be able to go that far, but let's see how it goes. It's pretty much just as I figured, but let's just keep going here. Slightly further. I got a total of seven darts to work with. Try a few angle shots. And that pretty much is that. Nothing else to say about that part, but it's time to once again break out the results. We got 23 feet as the lowest point in the whole test. If we go up further, then we can see some better results. 36 feet is pretty much what I'll call it at for the middle mark. And then we have the highest mark, which is one of the angle shots. But as you can see, 49 feet is pretty much what we can see is the highest possible mark that the Eliminator is capable of firing a shot at. Which is still rather impressive, at least for the time that it was released and for how old it was, but I probably would have expected better. So here I have the blaster itself, and we're gonna load it up with two darts, because that's all it's capable of holding. As for the rest, I'll keep them aside for another time when another small blaster comes around and I'll be ready to go and test it out as well. Plenty of small blasters that hold only one dart like this, but are capable of storing multiple. In any case though, if you wanna see more of that on my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.